Hey guys, Eric Fox here with Limitless Aerial Systems, LAS Drones. Today we are going to be reviewing and taking apart a graphene lithium polymer pack. Now, uh, I don't think this has been done yet, and there's been a lot of hype around this battery. What's inside it? Is it really graphene? Uh, how is it assembled? And today we're just going to rip it apart and see what's in there. It's a brand new pack, um, and so we're going to see what's inside. So, uh, and they include these fancy boxes. Part of me wonders how much that costs because uh, I want I want to pay as little as possible for a lipo and these fancy boxes can't be cheap. I just need some decent packaging, nothing fancy like this. So we'll set this over here to the side and we will open it up. It has all sorts of foam in here. Okay, that is it. So um, first impressions are that it's fairly big. If I put it up to some of these other ones, it's it's pretty massive. Um, all these, there's a tattoo. Way wider. Way wider. Way wider. Um, it has a has a normal heat shrink, not the not the um, PVC heat shrink, but um, one of the thicker, more rubbery heat shrink. That may be where some of the weight of this comes in, because um, I know these are quite a bit heavier than the other lipos on the market. Um, some are saying it's the it's the material build materials inside. I'm wondering if it's uh, if it's a combination of this heat shrink and this larger gauge wire. This seems like some pretty high gauge wire for 1300. I don't know that you're ever going to pull that much current, but they got some nice connectors on there. Black XTC. All of these are. Um, orange except for this one um, but uh, yeah overall I kind of like the look of it but it's pretty big let's see what's inside careful with sharp objects by lipos you can uh, you can have a bad day pretty quick <laughs> if, if you handle it wrong so we're gonna cut into this you good with it okay we're cutting into this this isn't my pack by the way <laughs> I'm ruining my friends brand new pack <laughs> Here we go, so cut through it. Here we go. Wow. Okay. That is it. So, first step done. It looks like they have a thin piece of plastic um, that wraps around uh, wraps around the cells. And already I can see a piece of G10 Garolite uh, on top and bottom of the cells. Uh, maybe that's to protect it in crashes, I don't know. But let's, let's take it apart further. So I'm going to take apart this red plastic now. See what's underneath it. Okay, so look at that. Garolite. Garolite, aka fiberglass plate. That's sandwiched on uh, top and bottom. Do you want to grab that scale right there so we can weigh some of this stuff? Okay, yeah, so it looks like there's garolite plates. These are fairly thin. Looks like one mil uh, yellow garolite plates. Let's bring this, uh, let's bring this guy in. Let's weigh some of this stuff. Heat shrink. Three grams. Three grams for heat shrink. Whereas these guys, it's about a gram for heat shrink. Uh, two Garolite plates. We got another three grams. So right there, right there, there's five grams of weight. And uh, so let's move, let's move this stuff. So this is the heat shrink, the label, and the Garolite plates. Let's move this stuff over to the side. Okay, we are back. And we have one cell from this graphene pack right here that we are going to be disassembling to see if we can actually see anything special inside here. Now, we did a bunch of stuff to uh, make sure the voltage, well, we got it down to one volt. So who knows, there might be a fire. But uh, that's why we got the fire extinguisher here. Uh, we put it in some water, we put it in some other stuff, but there is still a little bit of voltage in there. So we're gonna be taking it apart now. So let's see what happens. 
see what is inside. Do you want to grab a piece of paper that we can put some of this stuff on just to, out of the printer right there? Okay, uh, one thing that we did notice, and I don't know if you can see this, uh, the cell says A123. Now, if any of you guys are familiar with uh, battery chemistry, uh, you've heard of A123. They do some uh, lithium ion batteries, and uh, I believe they got bought out. I'm not positive about that, but uh, the first letters of this battery is A123, so that may mean something. Who knows? I don't know. So we're going we're gonna to put everything right here. This this may this may be a little bright. So here's the cell discharged, of course. And let's just start. Okay, that is the inside of the cell. This is the wrap. You're gonna, that's the foil. I do see black there. I do see black. Who knows what that is? Okay, so we are there. So this. This looks like the cathode, and this may be what they're saying about um, about the graphene. I don't think this is graphene, though. I don't think that this is a graphene material. I think that this is just the cathode, which uh, which um, I believe with these batteries is um, uh, a cobalt, a cobalt uh, cathode material. So this is when you hear uh, lithium cobalt. I think that they're talking about this piece right here. Um, and and it's how it's how they layer it. So, but I'm not seeing anything. Um, so let's keep going here. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything too special here. I mean, these are all just layered in. A lot of layers here. And they probably have this on some sort of assembly line. Man, this is messy. It's one after another, one after another. Nothing fancy here though. I've opened up lipos before and this is the same. This is exactly the same. Look at this mess. Look at that mess. Is there anything special in here? I don't think so. Let me repeat. This is not graphene. This is not graphene. This is not graphene. That's one cell there. Pile of crap. Um, I'm not seeing anything special right here. So, uh, maybe one of you guys know more about lipos than me, but I'm not seeing anything special in this mess of layers and layers and wraps of, um, of juice, liquid of some sort, plastic, and uh, and uh, this cobalt as a cathode. Um, again, not graphene. I believe this is the cobalt material that they use as the cathode that's layered up. Similar to if you do a, a penny battery where you put some acidic and then the pennies and the cloth and you raise it up. It's a similar layered process right here, but um, yeah, that's nothing. This is all crap. Um, I don't know why it's bigger. I don't know why it's bigger. This is a, a lot of wrap here for sure, but I don't know why it's bigger. If I, if I open one of these other cells, like a Rebel or an LAS drones pack or, or one of these, um, I'll, find, I'll find very similar structure. Uh, even the HVs, it's a similar structure to this. Um, they just change these cathodes a little bit and um, change the material structure uh, to give that higher voltage, but it's the same sort of build process. But I'm not seeing anything special in the actual cell that says graphene. So, that's it. Um, 
Subscribe if you like the video. Uh, we're going to be coming out with some new battery products here pretty soon and some other uh, cool and fancy planes and FPV equipment. Um, you can find all that at lasdrones.com. We're going to get this mess cleaned up and get my hands clean and uh, no fires today. So uh, have a good day, guys.